When a patient is diagnosed with breast cancer, there's a number of people that are involved in treating her. Uh, typically, it starts with the person that makes the diagnosis. Maybe that's the radiologist that's doing the mammogram. Maybe it's an OBGYN that's doing an examination. And then they're typically referred to a breast surgeon. So that's the first of the actual treating team that will see the patient. And then from there, it depends on what the patient chooses and what all they need. Um, often we'll have medical oncologist involved, we'll have radiation oncologist involved, sometimes we have geneticists involved, and then uh, for reconstruction we have a plastic surgeon involved. With current screening, more women are being diagnosed early with early disease. So we're finding these cancers when they're smaller or even potentially a precancer. And what does that mean for the patient? It means that they have more potential options to, to address the cancer. And there's a, a list of options, so we'll go through each one. The first option would potentially be a lumpectomy or a partial mastectomy. And basically what that is, is it's exactly what it sounds like. It is removing a portion of the breast. Um, with this, typically the patient also is required to undergo radiation. Um, but it's a very good option for a lot of patients. As we move further down the ladder, the next option would be a mastectomy. And what that means is it's a total removal of the breast. And there are variants when we talk about mastectomies. Um, in some cases, we're able to save the nipple and the areola. Some cases, we're not. In some cases, we have to go to the axilla and take tissue out of the axilla to look for potentially spread of disease. There's two main variants in the sense when we talk about reconstruction. One would be an implant-based reconstruction, and the other would be using a patient's own tissue. So we call that autologous tissue or a, a flap, and that can come from a number, number of different places. To talk about the implant-based reconstruction, there are options when we talk about implants. We typically do use silicone implants, but we have even variants within the silicone family. We have shaped implants, we have round implants. So it's not a one-size-fits-all anymore. We can really tailor it to the individual and really try and meet her desires and needs. Um, when we talk about autologous tissue or the flap reconstruction, uh, it depends on the patient again. We can tailor it to the patient on what, what do they have uh, an area that's a potentially abundant or what area um, allows enough tissue to do a total breast reconstruction. And the most common area would be the tummy. Another area would be potentially the back of the thighs. More recently, we've advanced greatly in the options and the type of technique that we use. So we take skin and fat from the tummy and move it up to the breast, and then the breast is reconstructed with that skin and fat. In the old days, this was done with also taking the muscle from the tummy. So you can imagine if someone loses their tummy muscle, then they're going to have some problems, especially if you're taking both. So nowadays with advanced techniques, we, we do what's called a perforator flap. And we basically find this small blood vessel, maybe a millimeter in size or so, and we trace it down through the muscle, follow it down into the groin, and we can take that entire block of tissue just on that one or two couple, couple of perforators. It's a great advance for the patient because it's less morbid to the, to the abdomen and we can still do a total breast reconstruction with this tissue. And that's called a deep flap and that's probably the most common one that's done. Not everyone does that, so you, you should certainly explore options and talk to your surgeon and, and see, and certainly in centers of excellence, people are offering, offering these type of things. A, and then we even go further now, because some people, let's say they've had a tummy tuck or they're really thin, they're a marathon runner, and they don't have any tissue on their tummy, and a lot of surgeons will push them into implants. And that's fine for a lot of patients, and that's the right reconstruction for a lot of patients. But in a select group of patients that may not want implants or have potentially a contraindication to implants, we have other options. And more recently, we came up with the profunda artery perforator flap, and we call it the PAP flap. And for short, it's very similar to what I just described from the tummy. We find that tiny blood vessel, and we trace it through muscle. It's just at the back of the thigh. So that blood vessel comes from the inside of the thigh and the back of the thigh, and we take a big piece of skin and fat from the back of the thigh, and we use that instead to reconstruct the entire breast. In unique situations, we can use combinations of these flaps, and that certainly has to be the right patient, um, but we've done that where we take the tummy and the thigh at the same time and use that for total breast reconstruction. When a patient's diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, there's the treatment team, which includes the breast surgeon and the oncologist and potentially radiation oncologist. And all of them, their goal in a combined way is to treat the cancer. Then you all, then you come and see the plastic surgeon. And when I see a patient, my goal is, is ultimately to make them forget they had cancer and give them a reconstruction that, that feels like a normal breast to them and looks like a normal breast. So in some situations, we're even trying to improve the aesthetics of the breast. And with our modern techniques, that's often a reality with the reconstruction. 
My name is Nicholas Haddock and I'm a plastic surgeon and um, part of the breast cancer treatment team and I would encourage you as a breast cancer patient to explore all options and really think about your options when you're going through this process. If you're not offered all the options, then I would encourage you to find a place that you might be offered all the options and really think about it and, and be certain about the decision that you make. And of course, we wish you the best of luck.